Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of constant rates of change. This is standard 7.4a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 11 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a dolphin that's traveling through the water at 25 kph or kilometers per hour. So we need to find a representation that shows the distance a dolphin can travel at this rate. And the one thing that we need to remember is the basic equation distance equals rate times the time. So how far you go depends on how fast you're going, the rate, and how long you're going at that rate, as long as it's constant. Now, if you're fluctuating, changing up and down, that's going to change it a little bit. But if it's constant, we can use this simple equation. So let's see if that distance equals rate times time makes sense for A right here. So distance, they've got it listed right there. And then we've got the time, and then they're telling us this 25. So let's see if that works. Well, zero. Let's just see if I can plug this in zero equals rate is 25 multiplied by zero. Does zero equal 25 times zero? Yeah, because anything times zero is zero. So distance is 50 equals the rate is 25 kilometers per hour times two. Yeah, that looks good. So the first two are looking good. Distance is 100 equals 25 times four. All right, this could be our answer. 150 equals 25 times our time of 6. 25, 50, 75, 100, 125, 150. Yeah. So I'm going to guess that this last one is correct. 25 times 8. Yeah. 4 25s get you 100. So if we double that, 8 25s is going to get you 200. So the first choice is our correct answer. Let's figure out why B, C, and D are incorrect. Well, they didn't use D equals RT, but they're using Y equals X plus 25. So they want X to be time. So let me see if I can rewrite that. So uh, Y is the distance. So they're going to say D equals T plus 25. So I'm going to rewrite this into our D, R, and T that we've been using. So let's, we know that A is correct, so we can plug some of that in. Let's, let's look at that first one. So, so that first one is going to be zero distance equals zero plus 25. Yeah, that's not going to work. It's, it's not an additive relationship. It's a multiplicative relationship. And it's not working even on that first one. I think it gets sillier as we go on. So let's try that second one. 50, that's my distance, equals my time 2 plus 25. Yeah, that's just not going to work. All right, so B, no good. It's not an additive relationship. Rate is always a multiplicative. We have to multiply, not add. So C is kind of, kind of tricky. Looks pretty good. Look at this, 0. 0, 0, right? 1 and 25, okay. 2 and 50, yeah. 3 times 25 is 75, yeah. 4 times 100, 4 times 25 is 100, yep. And 5 times 25 is 125, so what's the problem? Look, they switched it. They switched the distance and the time. We know that distance equals rate times time, but look what they did. They said, let me not do the 0 because that one actually works. They say distance 1 equals the time. The rate is 25 and the time is 25. So they just inverted these two axes. If they had shifted those labels, C would actually be good. And then in five hours, a dolphin can travel 135. Well, that doesn't help us with any other items. That only helps us with five hours. And actually, no, five times 25 is 125 it's not one so d is just patently wrong so our answer here is a